Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking about StarCraft 2 economy and what that is. In uh, StarCraft 2, economy is a critical aspect of the game that determines the player's ability to produce units, uh, research upgrades, and expand their base. Managing your economy effectively is essential for success in the game. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, broad sense and what uh, some of the areas uh, you need to focus on when uh, are playing a game. If we were to begin with minerals, uh, minerals are one of two primary sources in StarCraft 2. They are collected by UCVs, that would be a Terran unit, as well as drones, that would be Zerg, and probes, uh, that would be Protoss. When they gather uh, from mineral patches, minerals are used to build most of the basic units, structures, as well as research upgrades. But, uh, the, that's the starting point, basically. The, as it is, and perhaps yourself, you can draw some uh, uh, understanding for, uh, from uh, yourself and your business, your professional life, and where you should begin, right? But it, I'll just try to draw out some of those examples and some of the stories from video game and perhaps some of the uh, examples can be implemented in your own personal life or where to begin. Uh, perhaps if you were just starting out and uh, where you would be able to find some of those minerals, would that be perhaps uh, your paycheck? <laughs> if we were to begin with something similar like that, but yes, perhaps that's the start of uh, uh, Vespen gas. Vespen gas is the second primary resource in the game. It is collected from Vespen gazers using uh, you see, uh, uh, drones, uh, probes, uh, equipment with a gas. Uh, Vespen gas harvesters. Vespen gas is required for more advanced units, upgrades, and high tech structures. If anything in a running business, perhaps that will be more of your energy resource and how much you're going to be paying for energy. Supply. Supply is the limit on how many units and structures you can have at any given time. Supply is div uh, dividend into food and BCI for each race. You can you need to have, have a construct supply depots for Tehran. Overlord, overlords for Zerg <laughs> and Pylons for Protoss. Uh, to increase your supply capacity, <laughs> running out of supply can hinder your ability to build units and structures. Uh, if you were find yourself advancing <laughs> in a different project, right, you might be required to explain to you, even my, myself, even yesterday. I uh, was trying to explain uh, some of those companies who are there, uh, funded by taxpayers, and uh, what kind of supply or resources I would need from those companies that I've been investing uh, to all my life, right? So my tax money was going to those companies, and those companies do have different programs, right? So when approaching those uh, companies, uh, tax uh, were, was funded by my tax paying uh, money, right? I would approach those companies to mention a different project that they have. They have all kinds of resources, right? They potentially have supply, human resources, uh, talented people, as well as they have uh, Vespian gas or the different resources, energy resources perhaps, uh, or access to different facilities as well as minerals or perhaps all the equipment. Uh, perhaps I can draw out what if I would, I need to explain to them what I need when managing a project, right? Uh, just uh, some of exa examples, perhaps yourself, if you are there trying to manage different projects for yourself, perhaps you do it slightly different, but that's something that uh, th there are different programs that can put the different companies, uh, government funded companies can offer to enter different programs, uh, perhaps with training, education, knowledge uh, from there, perhaps access to different uh, things as finance, facilities, uh, different groups of people. Uh, from there, you can build your company from uh, in more of a research and development field. Uh, workers, workers are units are responsible for gathering minerals and investment gas. It's uh, crucial to maintain an uh, adequate number of workers to ensure 
steady income over saturating and minerals and gas uh, gases can lead to decrease efficiency <laughs> overall engineers <laughs> expansions expanding your base to new uh, resource locations is essential as the game progress expansions pro provide additional minerals and gases income however they also need to be defended as they are vulnerable to <laughs> enemy attack <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, mules, uh, larva, and chrono boost. Each race has unique abilities related to the economy. Terrans can call uh, mules to rapidly mine minerals. Zeras can spawn additional larva to produce more units. And protos can chrono boost to accelerate production of their structures. <laughs> Economic statues players can choose different economic statues such as macro, focusing on building strong economy, which uh, I personally believe, based on history, is one of the best approaches to have when picking a strategy. Cheese, uh, not necessarily very risky, <laughs> perhaps uh, for some people might enjoy cheesing each other, uh, using a uh, aggression like tactic such as catching opponents off guard. Uh, that's another where battlefield uh, and fog of war can take advantages. And instead of playing draw out games, and perhaps if someone's showing some people out balance, right? <laughs> With what's happening right now in the world, is some people perhaps teasing each other. <laughs> all in, uh, committing all resources to a powerful attack. Uh, there, there's a, there, those strategies up there for people up there, but uh, that's risky. Uh, that's two strategies are very risky. Your choice uh, of strategy will affect how uh, you manage your economy. Uh, as well as harassment uh, or provocation, depending on how you look at it. Uh, dis uh, disrupting your opponent's economy uh, is a common tactic. This can be done throughout harassment units or the strategies that target the workers or resources gathering structures. Economic upgrades throughout the game, you can reach economic upgrades that improve resource gathering, such as command center, orbital command ability, which allows you to call down mules of what hand. Uh, overall uh, improvement in economy and how much of overall uh, budget should be allocated to you. Uh, upgrades, right? So uh, when you mention your business, as I mentioned to you before, perhaps 5-10% of the entire 100% of your net profit perhaps should be for uh for research and development work uh balancing act effective community uh, economy management involves finding balance between uh, collecting resources producing units and expanding your infrastructure the key is to allocate resources efficiently <laughs> effectively support your strategy <coughs> uh, for those of you who are who are interested in learning more i would highly recommend to purchase my book game strategy and uh in this book, I'm sharing a lot of examples for those of you who are interested in learning more, as well as uh, implementing some of the ways of thinking and taking some of those examples and implementing those examples in the real world, uh, then perhaps doing research before you starting business, as well as if you already have existing business. And if you're looking to perhaps progress and be become an, an investor and uh, start investing in, into different businesses. There's uh, uh, information for, for different groups of people um, using the, some of the very simple examples and then I'm trying to explain very difficult topics. Uh, you can find this book in the description below as well as top retailers have it. Uh, in video game Starcraft T, uh, myself. I've been a big fan of the game for many many years, so and I think it's uh, it high overall has a very uh, video game has a good and interesting idea for those of you who are interested in strategy and how to manage economy, uh, as well as it's a uh, video game is very very challenging and can be very taxing on your attention and uh, how many especially how many things you can focus on at the same time. Would you be able to manage uh, five, six, seven things at the same time? That's some of those skills. 
that I personally believe if, and if anything this game is trying to uh, help you to focus on <laughs> uh, depending on the projects and how you're gonna approach managing different projects as well as different businesses and how those projects need to align with each other as well as different teams within different projects and uh, how tasking can be on over all your attention and that, that is as much tasking if you need to manage different teams at the same time perhaps it is but uh, some of those people are my uh, flop and <laughs> some of the people who are very good at this game my uh, rise to the top how, how good are they at multitasking and uh, perhaps then some of those details and how they could potentially win and what strategy is better than other strategies uh, or comparing uh, themselves to a worldwide uh, scene and how other people are playing the game uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one